Rising concerns over the coronavirus continue to be evident on Wall Street. All three major indices remain down more than 10% from recent all-time highs. And joining me now to talk about what this all means is James Spiro. He's a financial advisor and managing director with Morgan Stanley. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. It's my pleasure. Thank and you. this seems to be one of the conversations everybody's talking about coronavirus, the health impacts, but also the financial impacts. True. I already saw this morning that futures are showing signs of a bounce back. Is mm -hmm. that what we're going to see today? Uh, you guess I, I have no ability to predict the next hour or five hours or five days. The good news is, frankly, nobody else does either. Mm -hmm. uh, the market took a pretty good pummeling last week, so it wouldn't surprise me to see a bounce. But this is a very, very fluid situation, and I think the market, at least short term, is trading on each subsequent news release. So to the extent the news release shows something positive, I think you could see a bounce. To the extent the news release shows something negative, I think you'd see a uh, you know a consequential action. So I, I think it's a function of the news releases. Gotcha. For the average American, what should they be concerned about here? Well, first of all, uh, if, if, if you're referring to their uh, financial situation, mm -hmm. to the extent the average American is exposed to stocks and the, uh, the percentage of Americans who actually have stock exposure, either directly or indirectly. Directly, you own the individual stocks. Indirectly, 401 mm -hmm. retirement, so forth, is north of 50 percent. Uh, that person has probably seen a diminution in his or her portfolio. But again, I try to remind people, when you own a stock, you own a piece of a business. And uh, businesses hit rough spots. And uh, generally, they come out of them if they're well-constructed businesses. And if the stock is a good one and you've done your fundamentals and the person uh, either acting on your behalf or you're on your own behalf, you've thought it through properly, then that's probably not a reason I would panic, but uh, probably over the last several days you've taken a bit of a hit. And so if you have a 401k, for now you should do nothing, right? Well, each person's situation is different. Mm -hmm. People may be at different points in their lives and different risk tolerance and so forth, so it's something that should be monitored. But if you're asking me in a broader sense, mm -hmm. would the last four or five days cause me to completely reconstruct my portfolio, it would not. Gotcha. Leave things as they are. And so a lot of investors are saying that they want to see the Fed's cut interest rates, even though they're already at historic lows. Is True. that something you think we'll see or would even be helpful? Uh, I think, uh, first of all, I think the likelihood of the Fed reducing interest rates in, uh, in the next meeting or certainly by the next two meetings, I think, is quite high. Uh, it's not clear to me they're already extremely low. You mm -hmm. and I were talking about this before the break. So given how low they are, it's not clear to me how much of a difference it would make. But as a general premise, uh, Sheba, lower interest rates are a prop to asset prices, stocks, bonds, things like that. I also think it would send some signal of confidence that the Fed is certainly cognizant of what's going on, the disruption in the marketplace. And to the extent that they can take uh, action, uh, they will, and uh, I think all of those things might give a little boost to confidence. One of the things that's taken place last week uh, is there's been an enormous destruction of confidence, and uh, confidence uh, uh, certainly plays an important role on Wall Street. So I think, to answer your question, I think a rate reduction is likely, and I think on balance it would be more helpful than not. Yeah, and you spoke of confidence. We're almost out of time, but the Trump administration trying to reassure Americans that the economy is strong and that they don't think this will have as terrible an impact as some people think. What do you think about that? Well, I think the economy has been strong. I think it would be difficult to gainsay that. I mean, just about every measurement, the economy has been strong. I think as to what kind of impact it'll have, I think it's a function of how severe this does or doesn't get. I'm not a physician or an epidemiologist, but if things were to be arrested fairly quickly or turn out to be less severe than a lot of the worst-case projections, then I think you would see things rebound more rapidly. And if they were not, then uh, consequently, I think things could be tough for a while. But I think it's a function of how this plays out. But I would urge people, panic is generally not a constructive response to mm -hmm. investing. All right, stay calm. James Sparrow, thank you for joining us this morning. We'll see what happens when the markets open this morning. We have entire sections of our app and website dedicated to updates about the coronavirus. A quick way to get there is by texting the word virus to the number on your screen. That's 504-529-4444. And after you send the text, you will get a reply with a link. Your phone's carrier message and data rates will apply.